Mr. Bean, I, pardon me for smiling and having some jocularity. Um, Mr. Chairman, uh, could I just uh, hear from the town manager on his interpretation um, and uh, of, of this that was put forth tonight? It's the first time I've seen it. Mr. Chairman, can we go to the rest of the board first? Can we do that first? Well, Whatever your pleasure is. I'd rather say, I'd, I would rather have the board speak okay. first. And then you ask me a question? And then I'll ask you and, and you asked if I wanted to go next? Okay. And again, um, Sorry, I'm, I'm having a good time, um, and uh, this this has been an interesting uh, Warren article. Uh, again, it's totally separate from uh, the analysis of uh, your annual report, and you struggle with it, and you look at it, and you listen, and you communicate, and that's what happens when people actually come to meetings, and you understand what's going on, not when they speak to certain people on the phone. Not when they speak to uh, certain committee members, but when they actually come up and you have a dialogue. And sometimes people smile, sometimes people get a little stern, but it's communications and it's business. And Mr. Preston owns a business, Mr. Ray owns a business, and there's a bunch of business owners here. And the struggle with this for me um, was Article 31 uh, in 2012. I was at that meeting. And I want to be very careful about um, what I say because. Uh, it's the voters' will, and uh, it, there was a vote. And as I look at this, um, uh, and I don't want to walk away from standing up to a vote because you're a selectman and the motion's been made tonight. Uh, and uh, I wouldn't have made the motion tonight. I'd like some more research, and maybe I can get some information tonight from Mr. Welch. But it says that um, a memorandum of understanding, uh, and I would like to tighten up the motion if we're going to go forward with it in order that I vote with Motion's it. Motion's been made and seconded, and, so and any motion will have to be amended. I, 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 I understand parliamentary procedure, and I thank you. But it, it does it does not say, um, uh, in when the voters voted, it was to maintain, uh, repair, construct, and reconstruct the sidewalks. Now, if it said to maintain or repair or construct, then that would be a clear uh, prohibition for supporting what the Hampton Beach Area Commission wants tonight. But as I read this, and I've struggled to, 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 to interpret this, and that's why information and conversation is good, the way I am reading it, um, it's the agreement uh, it was voted against to maintain collectively, to maintain, repair, construct, and reconstruct. And as I read this, um, that's not what the commission is asking for tonight. They are asking simply to maintain. And there's a big difference. And the voters voted against um, maintaining and repairing and constructing and reconstructing. And this, which Mr. Griffin, if I can smile without him yelling at me, um, is, uh, is a different ball of wax to me tonight in Article 31. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm leaning down that road as we go. And then my questions would be, because I don't have any information on exactly what the construction project looks like, but the sidewalks are ADA compliant. What specifications are they made? And, and we've got Mr. Watson here. Um, that these mirror the Route 1 sidewalks as Mr. Nyan has asked Public Works what has been the maintenance outlay on those uh, in the last 15 years or 10 years. And so with this, the spirit of, spirit of um, your intent, I'm moving very close to. And I just wanted to hear some more information, Mr. Chairman, about exactly what that sidewalk looks like, how ADA compliant is it, uh, and what's it going to be, and again, drilling down from what point it goes to, to what point. So if I hear a little bit more information of that, along with the drainage, um, that will satisfy my information request tonight, sir. Thank you. 